Today's video is one of my biggest heartaches in a DIY, but it also turned out to be one of my all-time favorites. Welcome, my name is Grace and in my channel I DIY everything. I want to take just a quick second to thank each and every one of you who sent me emails and private messages wondering how I'm feeling. I have been off of YouTube for approximately two months. I had to deal with some health issues and then I had a death in the family. But it's all good, it's all sorted. I am back and I'm good to go. Before I go on in this video, I just have to tell you this part because it's very important in order for you to understand the video. This piece I got for my office, but I wasn't sure exactly. I knew I wanted the actual piece or the shape of it, but I didn't know what colors I wanted. So I played around with the color. I am a firm believer that if you don't like it, change it, it's only paint. Today's video is a perfect example of, of that. I painted this chest four friggin' times. You're gonna see it, but stick with it. That's what I'm trying to say. Stick with it. You don't like it. Paint it again until you get exactly what you want. The result of uh, my project in today's video, in my humble opinion, it turned out absolutely stunning. You be the judge of that. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of it. It has so much detail. Where I did that piece in one of my videos. I loved the way it turned out. Now there is a difference between that one. There's no detail along the side and also along the bottom. I actually love the color and I contemplated when I found it. I thought, oh my gosh, what should I do? Should I leave the green and just check the top? I don't know, but I'm not gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with it. It's gonna be a surprise, so stick around. Hubby's already sent the project, so thank you, Hubby, for doing that. I am trying something totally different. Don't know how this is gonna turn out. Don't know if I'm gonna love it or hate it, but I'm gonna be using bare paint, and I had um, them make a vanilla. So I added some water to it. So this is a brush I'm using. Now I just got this from Timu. Just got it a bit of pointy there. And the reason I picked this one was because I can really get into the corners. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. using the house paint. I'm just doing it now with a roller and you know what? It's just beautiful. When I flip it over, I'm going to be doing the edges down here, but look how creamy that looks. I'm going to wait and I'm going to see if there's any imperfections and then I will go at it again and give it another coat. Loving this detail, guys. Absolutely loving it. I really love this. This is so pretty. It's a metallic champagne. I hope this comes up nice, but so far I like it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just remember, no, no perfection here, but I know when I see something, I just have to correct it. That way, you know, I don't have to worry about it after. I'm painting the trim in this fusion uh, mineral paint and it's the metallic. I don't know where she came from. Kinda turn me upside down. I just don't know what to do. You can see I did these in the champagne color. I think it, I want it to pop a little bit more because I am applying um, a stencil here. So Hobby Lobby was having a, a sale, a Master Touch, and this is a pre-mixed pouring acrylic. And this is such a vibrant color and I think it's gonna go lovely with this. Just don't be afraid that sometimes you go with a color and once you apply it, you go, oh, I like it, but I'm not in love with it. And that's okay. When you're not in love with it, it's time to change it and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Even if the sky is falling down. 
Okay, so now I'm going to be using the Bayberry from Fusion. Now, just remember, guys, I never know how any of this is going to turn Trust out. Trust in our wings to fly. Sometimes we're crashing down. But we get up and start from the ground. And I, I really want to know, really want to know. If I... Keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Okay, please don't mind the mess because I'm in my studio and we're in the middle of a renovation for my studio. But anyways, let's proceed. I'm going to use the Painter's uh, Mate Green. That's the one I'm using, and I'm using the 1.88 uh, inches. So it's roughly, I don't know, almost two inches. Some people feel, oh, I don't, I can't paint because I don't have a paint gun. You know what? You cannot tell. Now, this is one coat, so a little bit coming through. And give it the second coat. So this is the front, and I want the beginning of the squares to be in the front. So I'm going to begin over here. The next step, I'm going to put a line. Now, I have lots of videos um, showing you how to do this, but I will do it again just to make sure. See, there's a little gap here, so I want to make sure I bring it in to close that little gap. And now I'm going to do my third one. This part here is very important. And this is, of course, if you've never done checks using tape. Easiest way that I have found. And, of course, if I found it, I'm going to share it with you. We're going to pull this out. Boom. And we're going to put it here. Now, just continue rubbing it down because you absolutely do not um, want that lifting up. Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. Press down all the tape that you have. Press it down as much as you can. Here for an example, I've got 41 inch. It's gonna be 20 and a half. Well, that didn't work very well. It's gonna be here. So this is my center point. This is the center point and the tape's right in the center. So now we're gonna do the same thing as we did long ways. Because I'm rolling this, what it's doing is pressing the tape down. When I go in with the black, it doesn't lift the tape. I mean, if you've got time and you just want to let it dry, then go ahead. I'm just trying to hurry it up here. You know, dry it a little bit, but not too much because I don't want the tape to be bubbling out. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. The hardest part, guys, was really the first part we did. This is super easy. Easy peasy. All you're going to do is cover your black lines. Okay, all you got to do is cover your black lines like so. I don't know where she came from. It kind of turned me upside down. I just don't T-shirts, so it smells like her perfume. Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating, you 
can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love got so far I'm going to do that side tomorrow because it is two o'clock in the morning so we'll have to save for the rest for tomorrow I'm looking at this pink and I'm not loving it I know I know but I'm just not loving the pink now so there's gonna be some changes tomorrow stay tuned dive into the deep ocean dance with you all night long move as you swing your hips Take a break from the stress and the hate. Feel the love and feel the rhythm. Okay, so I really like the way this turned out, but I don't believe that everything should end just like that. So I want to create a little bit of dirt and I'm just going to use um, some brown. I have this other one, which is from Bear as well, and it's called Almond Roca. And it's almost like um, this type of color. So I'm going to mix it in here. So what basically I'm trying to do is blend all the colors from the stencil. I know you might think, oh my goodness, it looks a mess. Well, You'll see when it's all done. Now I'm going to use this white, uh, what is it? White water bay. With this dirty sponge from the brown, I'm just going to lightly tap it there. And then I'm just going to add it here. Now remember, we're building it up here. So bittersweet. Let me put your mind at ease. Trust me, I'll take the lead because I want to ride with you. I have done this in several colors. I did it in the pink and then I did it in the green. I didn't fancy it too much. I did it in the black. And at first I thought it was okay. Now I'm finding it too dark. So I'm going to go with the gold with the gold leaf 6110, uh, which is the classic gold. Try it, don't be afraid to try different colors because you never know. Because with trying different colors, you find something that you fall in love with. Much better, and it even ties in with some of the colors on the stencil. So I'm very happy with that. But let's wait and see the finished product, right? Just give in to the fire, cause I'ma take you higher. You're my only desire. Yeah. Let's take a break from the stress and the hate. Feel the love and feel the rhythm. Now I'm not Mackenzie Childs. I am Grace. So this is the way I like to do it. And you should always make it your own no matter what. So I'm just whisking a little bit through, and this is the way I like it. Some of them are a little bit heavier, some of them are not. I've done the stripes. I've changed them from green to black. I wasn't feeling the green, so I, I thought they would pop more. And of course, I had painted all this in black and changed that. I kind of like the way it's looking now. I've put some butterflies here to see how I like it, and I do like it. I've done the checks on the top. This is the bottom. I didn't change any of that other than putting the gold and I added some sort of little dirt.
do you think, guys? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I can't say enough. It just, I wanted something to sort of tie in with my lamp, and I think it turned out perfect. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Share the video if you enjoyed the video. It means so, so much to me. And if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button below. Turn the bell to black, because that's how you get notified that um, I have a new video. Anyway, take care of each other, be kind, and always remember you wanna reach a point in your life when you say remember when, and never ever, I wish I did. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.